YouTube fam, it's Gypsy Joe here again with Things Galore. And we're going to go ahead and make these really, really cute, super spooky ghosts for the top of your soaps. <laughs> okay, so I've gone ahead and loaded my extruder. Um, so this whole series, the uh, Halloween embed series, is going to have uh, mostly created with the extruder. If you didn't watch the first two episodes, please do go ahead and do that now. It'll give you some details about the extruder. And so I've already loaded it with the white soap dough to make the ghosts. And the dye I'm gonna use is gonna be the clover shape. And so what we're gonna do is just extrude out the clover shape of the ghosts. I think, you know, it, ge it gives them a little bit more dimension. As you can see, you know, it kind of comes out in that clover shape. So we're gonna just make one for demonstration. So we're just gonna cut that off. We'll leave the extra soap dough in there for now. This end here, you can see the clover shape really good or the, I don't know what shape this is. I would call it a clover. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of smush the top a little bit. I don't know if you can see this really well. It's white, so it's, it's the lighting is really kind of harsh. So I'm just gonna smooth that down into a little, a point. I'm also going to be really gentle and kind of place my fingers in the grooves and give it a little bit of a twist so that they look a little bit like they're, like this guy here, like he's kind of twisting and screaming. <laughs> so, okay. Anyways, here we go. So what I'm gonna do is, also the extruder does have a die that is round and about this size, and it will give you some soap dough rope about like this so we're just going to kind of delicately flatten it out just a little bit we're in fact i'll just break off a little piece for his arm i think it's best to go ahead and put the eyes and the mouth on first and with the same small this die um, we'll give you a soap dough rope of black we'll go ahead and use that for the eyes and the mouth so all I'm gonna do is use this very small rope. Sorry about the lighting here. We'll just push these out of the way. So there, we're just gonna take this little rope here and cut a very tiny piece off. Maybe even smaller than that. That can be for his mouth. We're just gonna roll it a little bit, put it aside, and then two smaller pieces, very tiny for his eyes. And we're just gonna roll those into little balls. Um, I do find that poking with your little needle or maybe a toothpick where you want the eyes to sit will help the the little soap ball uh the black one stick a little bit better so what i'm going to do is just poke a little spot where i kind of want the eyes to go not too deep it's just somewhere that's going to help to attach it nothing major so we're going to go ahead and use a little paintbrush dipped in water as a little bit of a glue not too, too much because it, the soap dough won't want to stick. So we're just going to lay it right on top, push a little bit so it makes it a little bit flat and round and it's perfect. Once you have the eyes situated, I'm gonna go ahead and place just a little bit of water right in the crevice of where the clover meets. Put another little soap ball right on top of there and it will fit down in there real nice. And then I just kind of keep pushing it until it's into the shape that I want. I actually like that all of these are different. They're all individual, they're handmade objects. I think they're supposed to be like that. So essentially the same aspect is gonna happen with the um, arms. We're gonna use the small die that extruded out the, the black uh, soap dough. And we're gonna go ahead and just put a little water there. Just delicately place it here in the crevice. I also picked the clover shape because I think that it gave me a good place to attach some items, you know, like the eyes and the and the mouth and the nose. And so I just do their arms kind of, each one's different. As you can see, each one's different. Everyone's, <laughs> I, I like them. I think they're cute. And you're just gonna attach the next arm with the same process. So we'll go ahead and I'll just demonstrate that really quick. So we're just gonna add a little bit of water as the glue for the soap dough. And just kind of push it on there. And don't be afraid to customize, make them different colors, make the arms different shapes, sizes, lengths, waving. Some are longer, some are shorter. I'm, I'm happy with the customization that you can do with these. But okay, thanks for joining me again and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.